Hey, Greg is here. In this episode, let's begin an implementation of the combat. Let's begin by creating a combat object. This object will have uh, the combat manager component, which we will add and create now. This component will be responsible for processing and maintaining the combat loop in the game. Let's keep our folders clean, so move the combat manager into the separate folder called combat. Everything solely related to the combat we will keep in this folder. Now we need to place two pivots, so we will be able to place two Pokemons facing each other in the battle. Let's create two pivot points for Mons facing each other in battle, so we can use them to place our monsters in battle. Good. Then let's place those pivots on the scene, and to see exactly how mods will be placed, parent one of the models to the pivot. Now let's place the camera into the angle like this. When you find perfect angle for the camera in the scene view, we can align the camera with the view. Good way to save time when you need to place a camera in a specific position. Good. Let's create an empty object container for the combat monster. Let's organize our hierarchy a little better. This container will have all the components for our monster to function and its description as a data, with model of the monster attached as a child object. Create an add combat monster component to the combat monster object. Move the script into appropriate folder. Let's remove the model from combat monster so we can prefab it as a clean object. Make the combat monster container prefab, so we can easily reproduce it for each monster in the combat. Ok, we need to make it possible to set what kind of model you will be using for the monster. So inside the Pokemon data scriptable object, create new public field for the prefab of the model for this monster. So let's make three new Pokemon datas for each of our starting, definitely not copyrighted monsters. First will be our water starter monster. So let's keep everything clean for us so we will be easily able to find all related things for each of the monsters. To do this, let's create a folder for all the monsters in the game in the data folder. And here we will create folders for each individual monster. This folder will store all the files specific to this monster. His model, his audio clips, his description, data, all of these things. If you have an idea for how to name those guys, let me know in the comments below. Remember to reference the model on the data file. Remember you need to initialize stats of the mon through the context menu. Good. Let's make the one for fire and grass starter. Actually, let's rename prefabs into name of the mon and word model. With all three of the mods defined in the Unity and models prefabbed, let's delete models from the scene. Open Combat Manager. To start battle, we need to create a new method called Start Battle. 
we will have to pass the participants data of this battle as a parameter for player and enemy. Inside this method, we will need to initialize the containers for the participants of this battle. So serialize field for two of our combat monsters. Then we need to initialize the combat monster with monster who will be fighting. So call and create a new method called init on the combat monster. We can do it using refactoring tools or manually. Inside init we want to instantiate a model for our mon. Let's rename the automatically created name to be monster data. And we want to parent this model to our combat monster object by passing the transform of the object which holds this component. Set the references for the combat monster on the scene. Now we need to call start battle and to do this we want to introduce a way to force this method to be able to easily test our game on the fly. For this we will make a new component we will call combat debug. Inside we will define two Pokemon datas for the player and for enemy. Generally speaking, you want to develop those kind of tools for your game. So to be able to quickly debug and test all of your features instead of, you know, trying to go around and find the exact combat you want to test, you can simply create some kind of debug tool, which will force start this kind of combat you want to test. Now we need to call the manager and start a new battle using our two datas. To do this, we will need to get the reference to the manager. So do this on awake by using get component. Then on start, we will call start battle and pass our two data. So the monsters you reference into those two fields will be forced to be spawned in the battle. So reference two mods you want to see in your battle to the debug component. Let's test this. Good, it's working. But they are in the wrong position. This is happening because our models have an inherent position, so we should reset it. So all our models have no position and no rotation at when they are created. And let's double on it. Go into the combat monster and reset the position rotation of the created model. Let's test this. And now you will see a new mistake. I reset their global position instead of local position. Here is our combat monster position, which serves as a container for our models. And here is our model position. So instead of global position, we want to reset local position of the model, so it will align with its container position. Let's test this. And I forgot to rotate the pivot of the enemy mon. Good. This is it for this episode. Thank you for patron support. Comment, subscribe. See you around.